Hi, everybody. Welcome to the special edition of the Two Hour Track Challenge. This is my entry into the Two Hour Album Challenge, Volume 10. The theme is water, and I am going to make a song with the theme of water, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, if you are unaware of the Two Hour Album Challenge, it is a uh, week weekend event that happens every three months or so that we do for charity. Um, we donate money to Angel of Hope, um, which is an animal rescue, um, through the sale of the album when all of this is said and done. You can find more information at 2hac.abstractionmusic.com, or you can go to 2hac.bandcamp.com to find all the albums that we've done in the past, as well as uh, download them. Or if you buy them, all that money goes directly to the animal rescue. Uh, we've gotten several of our cats through them. And they are absolutely lovely. So, all that out of the way, I'm sorry for the snifflies. I have uh, allergies. Um, the theme this time around is water, and I don't know what I'm going to do. So, let's get started. Cool. So, <clears throat> there's a couple things that I was thinking. And I, I think the most obvious one for me that popped up was um, some kind of aquatic ambience thing inspired by Donkey Kong Country. God, I apologize for my nasaliness right now, but I guess that's just the nature of uh, how it goes. I don't really know if this is going to be the route that I take because I can't seem to ever do this type of music intentionally. So, yeah, DKC is like absolutely... Fantastic. So we're going to just uh, go like that, put a delay on there, put a reverb on there, see where we start. Um, I am planning on doing some, um, there's Raum. I've been, I've been leaning a little bit more on room Raum lately just because I really like the sound of it. Um, so, um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of options there. I want to add some like water sounds and all this other stuff. So we've got plenty of time. Actually, let's use echo. I haven't used echo in a long time. Bring this up to a quarter note. And like always, I'm using my four bit sine wave from operator. I really, really like, um, That's not how that works. It isn't it. Okay, so echo is being wonky. Let's just try regular delay. Um, otherwise, we basically just recreated that. I, I actually kind of proud that I was able to do that by ear because I wasn't really expecting it to be the exact notes from Aquatic Ambience. Um, but that makes me pretty happy. Hey, Toxic. How about we use that as an homage to Aquatic Ambience, and then we just kind of go our own direction from there. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and this shirt's already bothering me. Don't worry. This isn't that type of stream. Oh, this shirt's really chafing me. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Especially if we get like some chill hop vibes or something. And then it's just like. Yeah. Only fans. Hey, if I could make money off of it, nah, I probably wouldn't. I don't think anybody would want to see that. Aside from like the whole compromising your integrity kind of thing, which. I know some people do that. I guess let me let me clarify. It's not compromising your integrity um, because I have friends who do that, and I think that me personally, that's not really what my brand is online. So it would compromise that brand. I wanted to clarify on that because I don't I don't think the people who use that 
service are bad in any way. Um, <laughs> um, because it's, yeah, I mean, especially these days, um, if you can make money online and do it in a, in a safe way, like, yeah, you should do it. Heck yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm not a, particularly a subscriber to anybody's OnlyFans, but I don't need to be, I guess. The anti-swerf. <laughs> you guys are using terms that I don't know now. Remember to save. Hey, everybody. Remember to save. I was like, oh, no, it's been 15 minutes already, but I forgot that the timer started earlier, and I, I vamped for a while. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So we're going we're gonna to pile on the layers. Your bass boost is it? Yeah, this is a very bassy uh, drum loop, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna tone that back a little bit. Yeah, and that's kind of what I'm thinking. Just get some like chunky sounds going on here. Something with like just a touch of bite. Um, and then I thought there was like a water sound. I guess not. Yep, nice. And just go like this. That's not really doing much, is it? It's not getting passed through the low pass. Hmm. Weird. Get crunched. Oh, I need to make the album art for this. I, I have a list of all the things I need to do. Sorry. Um, but I definitely need to do the album art for this, uh, for this thing. Um, I'd want to make sure I don't forget that. Yeah. I hope so. Okay, I don't like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of, yeah, okay. Let's go like this for now. Is there swing on this? There must be swing on this. Yeah. Is it a wangle line video? Because that sounds like a wangle line video. Um, it, 
has like this weird, I don't know if it's, I mean, it might be Rome. Let's, let's. Okay, so massive, this needs a little bit more of a bite to it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's too much. Okay, let's fix that because that is in the wrong spot. Oh, man. Anyway, I hope everybody's uh, Saturday's going okay so far. It's uh, been it's been a little a uh, little crazy around here, but that's okay. Yeah, it sure seems that way, which is good. Wangaline's the best. Okay, cool, cool, and also cool. So let's go in here and... Actually, let's go like this. I want to keep this like like a palette, like this is the source material. I want to go in here and I want to chop up these drums, but I didn't want to mess around with the... Uh... Didn't really want to mess around with things too much. Is that because... I don't know, maybe that's too fancy. Let's actually, okay. Sorry, I'm a little scattered today. Let's pivot off of that for a second and let's just work on this. So what do we want for water sounds? Because I think water sounds are really what we need here. And like I mentioned, I have some like water bottle sounds that might work. Um, and I also have the really dark, um, the dark waters from the piezo these are more like scratchy though let's go like this let's see how this works um, let's warp bring it up a little bit Go like that and go like this. <clears throat> and I'm actually just going to take this. Let's see how this works. So basically, I'm just trying to get some uh, ambient sounds. Take care, Toxic. Okay, so where are we going with this? Like how short these are. Um, I also feel like this is still too long. 
kind of want this to fade off before the next ones come in. Cool, okay. So that's definitely a vibe. Um, it's like, what kind of what kind of feeling or mood are we going for with this now? That's kind of the next big thing for me. It's just trying to like suss out where the tone is for this. Because there's a lot of ways this could go. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like... Um, like groundbreaking or anything. Uh-oh, M has an idea. Oh, yes. There we go. Um Hey, Haru. Thank you so much for that, Haru. Uh I hope I hope your stream went well. Hey, pizza. Hey, Red 05. <laughs> so, um, I kind of fell into doing something like an homage to aquatic ambience. Uh, so this is basically what I have so far after 15 minutes. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go any further yeah, well, <laughs> I have a feeling we're uh, we're all gonna probably do that a little bit. I'm not gonna go any further than using this arpeggio, um, <clears throat> but it it was at least kind of a springboard for me. So, um. laying it on thick. Yeah, do something different and go. Nice. Yeah, and I mean, I, I'm coming into this with very little expectations onto what I want to do and what's like, what's going to be good. So, I don't know. Like, I'm just kind of, kind of flying by the seat of my pants right now, and hopefully, something comes out. That sounds weird. Let's change that metaphor around. <laughs> Okay, so that actually needs to be like this. There we go. Letter gas. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, so we're we're starting out a little quiet today. Hey, letter gas, and thank you, thank you so much for that. Hey, Android, how are you? I don't know where that was going. <laughs> um, so I think what we need here is we need a really chill lead. And... Um, I don't really know what we want to do with this. Like we could do some monophonic voicing with some glide. Um, I know I don't want it to be like really harsh. So sine square, somewhere around that area. Uh, we can give it some gentle vibrato. over time. Whoop. <laughs> Got 
got to work on that a little bit. Um, <clears throat> what did you end up calling it? Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty fun. Um, I'm taking a nap when I'm not supposed to. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a fun sound once I um so this is supposed to be like a sine wave. It's not really much of a sine wave though. Right? I don't want to flip in low pass low pass every because I do want some of that sharpness in there. But Uh, how about we go like this? And uh, don't restart. Lower the rate. And that should give it a little... Okay. So now we just need to reduce the depth of this. Okay. Let's take that. Um, I've been, oh, this is something I haven't done in a long time, taking a delay and like putting it at like five or six. Okay. And then we need to get another Raum in here. Um, A little loud. I kind of like how far in the background that is, actually. Okay, um, some work needs to be done on this, but I think we have a general sound. Anyway, yeah. Actually, doubling up on reverbs might not be a good idea. No, actually, that's a wonderful idea. Um, I almost kind of like, okay, how can I do that though? Because you can make like a water drop sound with this and maybe that would be really interesting too. Um, instead of doing a glide, we can turn this into a water drop kind of sound um through pitch shifting that's actually pretty cool oh that's super hot okay Yeah, I like that way better. Okay, um, for some reason, like, I think the cutoff is really messing with this. So there's a little bit of fighting between the operator
clean these up a little bit. Not too much. I'm okay if they're a little messy. I kind of like the water droppy sounds. It definitely fits within the theme. Again, I'm not entirely sure where this is going yet, but that's that's a problem for future Ben. Am I right? So the only thing that has swing is the bass, which is interesting. And I'm not against, but it's just kind of weird. Um. <laughs> right. Past Ben, he's always screwing my stuff up. Um. Okay, I feel like we can do a little bit more with this bass. I'm kind of getting, I mean, we, we kind of started with a video gamey vibe for this too. So I'm, I'm okay that we're getting a video gamey vibe off of it. Uh, I'm just trying to like figure out where we can go with this. Like what direction is the correct direction to move with this? Um, because obviously, like I said, I don't want to go any further into aquatic ambience aside from just uh, being inspired by that little riff because I don't really want to, I don't really want to like remake the song as cool as it is. And it's still like one of the best video game music things out there. But I'm wondering if we can take, um, where's my dang strings? Just something simple for this. That works better as like a swell right there. Um, I'm going to have to lower the volume on that, of course, but... <clears throat> okay. Cool. I like that. Um, is there a reverb on this? There is a reverb on this. Get out of here, reverb. Okay, so my current thought is we can take all of this, all of this, there we go, move it over here. We can have this be an intro, copy paste, thank you darling. Um, and then, I'm gonna do something a little wacky here. Okay, so what is the length of this? This is 750 milliseconds. There we go. Um, good job. There we go. How about this for an intro?
It's a little, it needs, it needs more juice in there, but I like that. Okay, why was it like that? I hate automation sometimes. Yeah. And then this can just be like this and much, much quieter. Sort of self oscillating at the end. I just wish that this was louder. So maybe I need to up the feedback at the end here too so it, it uh, sticks around longer. And after that, I switch to a different delay so it doesn't matter. This doesn't, this doesn't have the impact that... It doesn't have the impact that I'm looking for and I'm not really sure how to get that. I mean, there's like, running it through a saturator might work. Because again, I just kind of want it to sound like distorted and wild. Yeah. I don't, self oscillating, I, what do you mean by that? Because for some reason I feel like that's putting, a, putting a, a frequency shifter on it. I don't think that's what you mean. Delay, delay feedback looping itself. Okay, so the delay I'm using, the feedback doesn't get over 100%. I think I fixed it. The, the main issue that I had is that it wasn't loud enough. Because I like... That's, that's basically what I was looking for. So, we're good. Not to say that your idea was bad. It was actually a pretty cool idea, but I had like a specific thing in mind that I wanted to do for that one. I don't I, I don't like shooting down people's ideas. I just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> um, I don't know why I feel like the bass needs to get like all wacky. It just feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, sometimes I go too far though. I 
I go too far and then it gets way too complicated. But in this case, everything's really like open. So I, th I feel like I can get away with it. Um, should this be a tremolo? I don't think that that'll work. Hey, Arcade, what's up? I think a tremolo would be too, too mushy. Yeah, it's way too mushy. Um, I might, however, make a tremolo kind of lead. I feel like, um, there's a lot of opportunities. How many do we have on the album? I think we have like four or five. I was, I was, uh, I think there's several people that have like finished it but not submitted yet. So I, I need to send a reminder on the Discord. Um, I think that a lot of people are, uh, I, I felt that maybe a lot of people would be more free to do this um, because of kind of the lockdown and everything. But I have a feeling that a lot of people are also focused on more important things than a music challenge. So I'm not really sure. Uh, how many we're going to end up with this time. But I say that every time, and we seem to get more every time, so. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, most people always submit on Sunday. So, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to either somewhere between 12 and 50 songs. <laughs> um... Is that really the way I want to go with this? Hmm. It's like I had a thought for this and it's just not playing out the way that I want. Nah. It's not really playing out the way I want. Let's get, get rid of that. Who needs that? So we can mess around with mess around with some of this stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of people are are kind of feeling the same for that. Um, that doesn't work the way that I want it to. That's okay. So yeah, I want to I want to chop this up a little bit just to make it more interesting. But beyond that, I think we can move on to kind of a B section, um, and then we can work on just making things interesting. I'm totally fine with this being kind of like a lo-fi, lo-fi style jam for this one, though. I think that that fits it very very well. Sixty percent of your insecurities. I was thinking about like you know how like 70% of your body's water and all that other stuff. I was thinking about doing something like that, but it just didn't uh, gel for me, so. That does need some reverb.
Oops, sorry about that. I turned the wrong knob first. Oh wait, no, it's not saturator, it's redux. That was a little trick that Garden Sound showed me is if you put like a touch of redux on the bass, it tends to give it a little bit more grime. Um, I'm really putting the delays on, putting the delays on those snares, huh? problem with swinging part of this and not all of it is that there we go oh my god why is why is my computer being a glitch I don't think my computer enjoys uh, the the um, string section and stuff. It tends to be glitching out on those. But at least we have we have something going on here. I'll lower that just a touch more. Cool. I think we have. good section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this out and then this will be our A section and then we can create a B section kind of based off of uh, all of this. I'm going to just IDM the strings. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm just trying to think of what we can do here to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, filters. Yeah, I was thinking filters. I'm going to try to space things out a little bit more. Um, I don't want, I don't want to go like too ham on all this stuff, but So just some variations in here. Um, I mean, one thing that I, I've, I've been trying to do more of, and I've talked about this a lot, is add more empty space and silence into the music because I think that it's really important. Why is this telling me that I have an alert? Go away, stream, Streamlabs chatbot. Um,
kind of want to just... Yeah, that's kind of what I want. Mood. Um, and then we have to turn the delay off for this jabroni. this actually because I want that silence of course that silence won't come because this is no this is from operator why do we not have velocity sensitivity on this because it's defaults to zero because of course it does Octopuses, yeah, you could have everything in eights. You could have eight eight time. You could create a eight note scale. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, so we got that, we've got this. Let's work on this last loop and then we can go into a different type of song with the B section and maybe we'll see where that goes from there. I don't know. This is a weird one. Like the, the two hour album challenges are always difficult for me because I feel like as the administrator of it, I feel like I need to put out like a high quality song and there have been times where I get like too in my head about that and all of a sudden I'm just like oh wait no this song's actually not that great um, um, but I also know that that's just the nature of like creativity and you can't force that kind of stuff so it's kind of just like well here we are Oh, that's the wrong note. Yeah, right. Not intentional. It did not fit. Maybe we can switch to major in the in the B section. That might be kind of fun. Can we can go from like this? Mixolydian. I'm really not. Uh, I'm really not uh, doing good at showing how my knowledge of music is today, huh? Major, major with a B7. Gotcha. So that would be. Uh, ooh yeah. How would we transition to that though? Because we could be here. It definitely has a um a watery vibe to it. Wow, I can't, I can't, uh,
Interesting. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I'm just like, my brain is not, uh, <laughs> uh, I also have something in my eye, which sucks. It's the life of a streamer, I guess. There's a lot of options here. I need a need to do this bit. Okay, do a little bit of chopping downtown here and then we can move on to whatever next bit brings us. I'm trying to be fancy again. <laughs> oh, fancy Ben. Just messing around with stuff right now, I guess. And that gets too, too far in the weeds there. How about we go like that? Okay, so this is this is the song so far. And then we can work on a B section and see how that goes from there. Stop that. That's so frustrating. <laughs> there, hopefully that'll fix that. I actually like that a lot. I feel like we need one more small element somewhere to bring up kind of, since the rhythm gets so jacked up down there, I feel like we need to add um, like an offbeat. Not anything like fancy, just something to keep um, keep the rhythm a little bit more. Um, it's like a dark marimba. I don't think that that's a real thing, but. Did I choose the wrong note? I chose the wrong note. It also might serve as an introduction to the next section as well. So, um, VSL. Um, 
Let's see. I don't know if uh, marimba is really the right way to go with this, honestly. I just thought it was funny because it was like... I think this is the same thing. It's just without the rapper. Marimba games. <laughs> Take care, Arcade. Thanks for hanging out, man. Dude, yes. It will be incredible. I'm looking forward to hearing all of it. Um, let's put a donk on it. Yeah. Drums, mallet instruments, gong. Yeah, I'm not feeling those. Let's uh, let's just bounce to a synth. Why not? Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I just want just want like a simple pluck. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything in here. Nasty. God. Oh, I'm getting lost in the weeds a little bit. <clears throat> it's okay. I kind of lost a little bit of momentum there, and I'm not really sure why, but... Oh, that's the wrong contact. I always do that. I'll find something. Organ spooks! That actually has a really nice sound to it. I'm going to keep that. Yeah. I'm going to lower some of this stuff in here. Yeah, I need to mess around. I mean, I have so many different options, and that's kind of the problem. I feel like, can we mess with the attack on this at all? Is this like the ADSR here, or is this... I, I just really wish that this was better represented. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, is this mess with the attack and stuff? Or is this just layers of sound? I think this is just layers of sound, which doesn't help. Use both software and hardware. Yeah, I was thinking about pulling my uh, my Yamaha out, but I want to stick with something simpler first. Okay, I'm also going to restart my sound card real quick. What do we want to call this song? Sewerly Hills, <laughs> Aquatic Abyss, those are both pretty good, although I don't really know about Sewerly Hills, honestly. Yeah, yeah.
You had a name idea, Pizza? I didn't see a suggestion. I mean, Simply Water was the first one. Oh, okay. Um... Because, yeah, you suggested Simply Water, which was funny because that's the song that I used for the theme selection video. Um, <clears throat> but darker. Yeah. Yeah, I think Aquatic Abyss isn't that bad of a name. Let's go with that. Why not? Hypothetical water levels, that's pretty funny. Excuse me. Tungsten trench. That's very, it sounds very metal. Um. So let's get a hat sound and then, cause I feel like we need to transition away from this drum loop too. I also, I was thinking about doing this with the theme and just like searching water and seeing what we can find. Ooh, this is a rare water bottle. Ooh. Tux, shut up. We're gonna, we're gonna um, ruin this uh, sample's career. Um, I have some thoughts. First, we gotta we gotta fix all this other stuff up first. Um, this was in F F. How would that work? Um, cause we're going to trend. I mean, we're still, let's try this. This might not work, but that's okay. Um, and then we need to clip volume cause I don't want all of this. I really want just chunks of it. And then go like this. So this might not work, work at all. Save. Hey, everybody, remember to save. Thank you for the... I ran out of saves. Oh, no. I guess that time finally came. That's way too major. Um... I don't know if that's going to work, uh, but it's worth a try. I, I need to further edit this a little bit. Nah, it's not going to work. That's okay. Um, it's just like the wrong tonality from what I'm looking for. That's Discord. 
where the hell did splice go? Did I close? No, it's right there. Um, Because I just wanted to like search water and see what I could find. Um, what else can I find? Water harps. Not really what I'm looking for. Ooh, mud. God. That's pretty. That's a pretty great sound, but doesn't fit what I'm going for here. That one might work. That might actually make a really interesting lead. I don't know. We're kind of in the exploratory section again where we're trying to figure out what to do. Okay, so is this in tune? Absolutely not. Closer. Oops. Okay. Kind of, I kind of like the idea of having like these chords. Actually, let's not use an EQ. Let's let's use the proper thing. Um, and then we need a delay without that craziness on it. Hey, Jake, what's up? So I'm trying to figure out a different section for this song, and I'm not really sure where we're going with that. These are also way better. I mean, I guess I could just go like that, but that seems lame. Cuz I want to I want to like move away from that. Creek behind our house. Oh, that's what you meant by if it was still running. Because I had no idea what you meant by that. Okay, so we kind of expanded on that ARP a little bit, um, which is neat. I feel like we need to put another auto filter on here though.
Man, I don't really know where this is going anymore. I kind of lost my direction a little bit. Yeah, maybe this is just kind of like a This is kind of like a bridge. It might work well as a bridge. Yeah, that's some pretty good tension there. Mr. W.S. Satan. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, really appreciate that. Welcome to the studio. Some weird chords, huh? <laughs> Thanks for the follow, though. I appreciate it very much. Um, so, yeah, what are we going to do here? I mean, I guess we could just go back to that. Or we could iterate on it. I guess that makes more sense just to take all of this. I need uh, I need like a, a transition sound in here. Um, I guess I did use the reversed snare before. That might work. Yeah, so let's take this and use this as an opportunity to get rid of this lead um, and then Okay, so okay, 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 I think I think I kind of pulled myself out of that a little bit. Let me see if I can if I can get back into the groove of making music. Hey, Shatizi, how you doing? Um, as always, we put a little bit of ride cymbal on the high end just to give it some fuzz. Because uh, even if you don't hear it, your brain does. Got done your workout and shower. I was I was contemplating going on like a bike ride before I started streaming today, and I realized that it was still like 30 degrees out, and I was like, nah, I can wait. 
Um, it's supposed to be nice today, though, so I'm looking forward to going on a bike ride. I just didn't really want to do that in the freezing cold. It looked nice out, but it was still cold out. I kind of like the idea of this just like falling off really quick. Yeah, yeah, and I was considering getting one of those, especially since you're not supposed to like go outside and stuff. I when I do go on bike rides now, I tend to uh, I tend to stick to roads because there's a lot less uh, people on the roads. Okay. Um, Hey, Sam, how you doing? How about... What if we go like this? Nope. Yeah, just leave it where it is. That's fine. Stop being picky. Um... I think this is just a volume issue. I'm getting distracted. Ooh, yeah, I need, there's a package that I need to mail out to. Um, so there's a couple things that I wanted to do. One of them is to create a new lead. And I tried this earlier and it kind of fell apart, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for real this time, I promise. Um, Oops. There, there, there. Let's see if I can do something a little weird. Oh, it helps if I have the right instrument equipped though. Yeah. How long does that attack? Okay. Okay. I'm going to lower the cutoff on that. Too much. Um, and I'm also going to go like this. It's a little too much there. That actually sounds pretty cool on the low end too. Um, so we need, um, I'm thinking for this one we can use like Valhalla Shimmer because I don't want this to be like a super sustained melodic thing, but. We'll see. Very noisy. Um, remember to save. You're you're early. Remember to save. Um, Do I like that? Does that bring me joy? I guess that's the question you need to ask yourself, huh? Okay, first of all.
Oh, man. Kind of lost my train of thought on this one. Um, just a second. This shirt's being annoying. Ah. Okay. Where are we going with this? Let's not knock my water over. I'll leave it. I don't I don't like it though. Those are really loud, aren't they? Okay, there is actually some things we can do with this. I don't like this rhythm as much but I like this a lot. Um, I think I was suffering from a lack of inspiration. So what we can do is with this beat um, high or low passed, uh, we can basically change the tone of this without really um, messing with it too much. I also think that maybe we can go like this and get some extra little, yeah, I get some extra little juice on this. Let me, um, Not a sawtooth though. Square wave. I'm just trying to give it a little bit extra. A little extra um, interest. A little extra sound. Maybe this is just too much. Okay, so we can also go in here and create, uh, add another snare sound. And I think that what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, I use this a lot, but I can't say no to that snap sound. Where is it? Because it's so good. It's the perfect snap sound that should be used in every song. And then um, we have to, oh, this is gonna be weird. That's true, I do, have, I do have several sounds that I use more often than not, which isn't a bad thing, you're right. It's like, it's okay to have a signature sound. What I wanted to do is every four beats of this, we could, where is my return? There it is. Uh, and there's so many options here. So, not that much. So every, well, that does not, 
have the same impact that I wanted. Let me go in here and change this, maybe. Why is this not so loud? It should be louder than that. Okay, so this just needs to get juiced up a little bit. That's too much. There we go. Cool. What other signature sounds can we put in here? <laughs> um, I mean, I was, honestly, I was thinking of an electric piano. I think that that might be a, a good addition. What are we at? 34 minutes. Um, just for like a little extra, a little extra uh, sound. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. I mean, basically just, just like reinforcement. Excuse me. Well, that's the wrong chord. Um, nope. What am I, what am I trying to do? I'm being too complicated. This song is not about complexity. This song is about this song is about being chill. Getting too. I, I have to like. There's a sound that I want, and I don't know how to make it. And it's not a complex sound. I just gotta get out of my own head, I feel. Don't you hate that when it's like you get in your own head and you just don't know how to how to create something and it's like it's not it's not hard it's just like outside of your reach Yeah and I've I've definitely been I've been feeling it a lot more lately myself and I don't know if it's a music thing because like all the other things that I've been working on lately creatively have been like pretty solid but for some reason with music it's been and I hate to say a struggle because it's not really a struggle it's just it's been there's there's things that I want to do and they're they're just not like processing in my head correctly yeah yeah more of a challenge that's a good way of putting it That's pretty close.
It's 90% of the way there. Um, I really like how that sounds, actually. But yeah, it's like exactly what you said, Haru. It's just like more of a challenge to to sit down and focus. And I don't know if that's just kind of the state of where we are right now as, as a people, or if it, there's something else going on where it's just like, maybe I just need to take a break from music. Like I've done it before. And it's not like it's, it's going to kill me if that happens. Cause I have lots of other outlets for things that I want to do. Um, I don't know. It's super weird. Now the glide's a little too much. That's really pretty. Okay, let's work on <clears throat> cleaning up this bit down here, making it a little bit more interesting to listen to. Um, and then I know we're kind of starting to come up against the clock a little bit, but yeah, yeah, it's like, exactly. It's just like, is it about the music? Is it about like the creative process that you're like focused on? There's just so many, there's so many different variables right now. don't miss the automatic writing. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I, I get it. Like, and this is not me being like, Oh, I'm going to shut the two hour track challenge down and all that other stuff. Like I love doing this and I love the opportunity of being able to sit down every week and make something. It doesn't matter like what it is. And you know, there's always those kinds of slumps and I shouldn't, I shouldn't let them get to my head. Um, But again, it's just like, I mean, I have a lot of other creative outlets and it's not like if I stop making music for a couple months, it's going to, it's going to like impact me in any way. save yeah it's always well timed that's uh that's the magic of that remember to save timer it's always well timed um so it's like where do we go from here i also am kind of curious if we go like this Let's see. Yeah. I completely agree, Haru. Ha Haru. Haru, I completely agree. I think that sometimes it'd just be good to be able to put stuff down on the paper. It doesn't doesn't really matter what it is 
You just got to do it, you know? It's a little bit better. Um, I was also thinking... Nope, that sucks. Yeah, just being able to sit down and do stuff, you know? Hey, Vincent, how you doing? I I don't know. Like, again, I feel like to some degree it's a symptom of just the state of the world that we're in. And I, and I don't really want to get into all that. There's a, there's a lot of... There's a lot of bad things going on right now. And there's a lot of good things going on, but there's a lot of bad things going on. And I think that it just wears on people. And like cr being creative takes energy. It takes a lot of energy. And it's not always something that we can replenish easily as creative people. And that that can get to people, myself included. Hey, um, music's going okay. Long soccer practice. Completely empty. Man, that sounds nice. <laughs> Yeah, I, and I think I think that's part of my problem um, that I've been cooped up inside for like the past month and a half now, and I just need to go out and run around the block like six times until I just collapse of exhaustion um, because I think that that would help. So. Yeah, I think being able to exercise is really valuable. Um, so, I mean, part of the problem with that is that I running is not my strong suit. It's it's riding my bike. Um, I have been like trying to do push ups and crunches and stuff inside, but that's that only gets you so far when it comes to cardio. You just need to um, you just need to uh, just just do it. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of my problem right now. I just don't, I don't have the, the momentum right now. And now that it's finally getting warm out, I'm super looking forward to bike rides. Actually, I'm going to put that on my to-do list right now. Bike ride and three exclamation points there. Yeah. I I'm, I would imagine that the trampoline is is incredible exercise. I, I do not have one unfortunately. Okay. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to have kind of like a a breakdown here. Um I think that would be fun. We can also take this. I think we can scoot this over like this. Just like spread it out. You know, make the song longer for no particular reason. Um, Got to make the song longer. Otherwise, it's you're not a valid artist. If you don't waste people's times, how are you supposed to let them know that you're superior to them? That's sarcasm, by the way. Um,
had a couple wrong notes in there, but just looking for something chill. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like I like longer songs, but I also like appreciating a shorter a shorter track, something that gets to the point and doesn't faff around as much, you know. Um, and really, like, I want to express certain things in each section here. It's like establishing the thing, having some kind of breakdown to break the tension, bringing in some kind of melodic lead. <laughs> Something about song length? Sure, Vincent, what's up? <laughs> Sam. That's pretty funny. Let's uh, let's fix that. There we go. We're in twenty five tunes for Castlevania type game, and some of the stages look kind of short. Stage shoot. Oh well, is it is it like a NES? Is is this like a Metroidvania style game, or is this like a a, a Nintendo emulation game? Uh, because when it comes to Nintendo emulation, you have a lot more flexibility when it comes to track length. Um, yeah, for retro style, like if you listen to some of the Mega Man loops, it's seriously like 16 bars. Um, it's like four bars A section, four bars B section, four bars A prime section, four bars B section, repeat. Like some of the like some of the loops from Mega Man and Castlevania specifically are like super short, especially for the NES era. So, like, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. Yeah, and, and I mean, that, that, that was the main reason why. ROM space was, like, incredibly valuable, and they didn't want to take it up with music data. Um, because you needed to have sprites and all that other stuff in there, too. So... Yeah, exactly. Like... I wouldn't feel too bad. Like when I when I made music for video for like video games, I'm just gonna do a quick aside real quick because I need to like clear my brain and I got 15 minutes left. Um, when I did music for um, oh, where are they? Pixel minute. There we go. Um, all of these are are very like they're all very very short. They're all like six frames. Yeah, so it's just like every frame I try to put a different spin on the general theme. Um, so it, it really depends. Like I have, I guess this is like an establishing frame at the start here, and then and then it just kind of goes right into it. So it's it really depends on um, on the style you're looking for, but for the most part, you can get away with like 20 second loops, no problem. I need. To, I actually need to make some Famitracker Tracker stuff soon because I'm working on a, a very retro game. Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to listen.
Yeah, it's just, yeah. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of options. So I'm thinking. Okay, we need to we need to kind of finish up this song, and. I'm just trying to figure out how to do that. Oh my God, Ableton, work with me, please. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that might work actually. I, I I really wanted to get this little um this little section in right here that's kind of chill and just kind of sits on this note. So have to properly swing this in. There we go. Um, yeah. What what do I what do I mean? What do I mean? <laughs> um. Yeah, it's it's a limitation of the the NES hardware, not necessarily Famitracker. Um, like I think the Nintendo cartridge was like it was like four kilobytes or something. It was it was ridiculously small. Um, Famitracker cares not for actual song length. Um, can't fit. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel that, um, I don't know if reprising it like that is, is really what I want though. Remember to save. Hey friendos, remember to save -o. Um, This song might merit just a fade out. I have I have such mixed feelings about fade outs. I think there's I think they're super valuable, but I also feel like they're kind of the lazy way out sometimes. Hey, how about you leave them alone? Butthead. Um also, word of warning, if you're working with Nestmaker uh, as a platform, uh, Famitracker has some very serious limitations when it comes to working with Nestmaker. So um, be aware of that. Um, I have struggled with that quite a bit um, in, my, in my travels. Nestmaker is an amazing piece of software, but they did not put a whole lot of... Um, I don't want to say effort because that's not true. Um, there, there, there are severe limitations to what Nestmaker can do with Famitracker exports, and just be aware of that because uh, it will, it will make your life very difficult. The problem is that not a lot of not a lot of it is documented anywhere. So, um, if you need help with that, let me know.
Heiko. Um, so with Nestmaker specifically, I believe that the intent was to be able to export directly to Nintendo cartridges, which is why I understand why they're a little bit more stringent on... Um, on that stuff but yeah yes the 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 quote unquote purity of retro game ports that are made in unity are kind of laughable <clears throat> Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so I mean that's kind of just a fade out, but that's okay. Let's listen to the whole song, see if we can make any changes along the way. doesn't have enough trap hats. That's how I'm going to get popular. No. Actually, I kind of want to do that as a joke at the end. Two things. I don't want to break up the rhythm here, but I do need a uh, a crash roll. Where are they? Hats perform? No, symbols performance. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Get rid of this. A little bit louder. Okay. We'll do the same thing over here. Okay, back to what I was doing. This section could actually be an extra eight bars. Yeah. Okay. We might go, we might go slightly over time because now I have thoughts. A 
it's okay to go over time. Especially when you have thoughts. Hey, Alcom, how are you doing? Right? These are going to be obnoxiously. So yeah, we are going to, we're probably going to go five or 10 minutes over. And I don't, I don't really, I don't really give a toot. Nice. Awesome. Can't wait to hear it. Okay, so we need to take this and spread this out over that many bars. Okay, so I have two things that I want to do. First, um, we need to shift all this over because I really like how this section... Come on, Ableton. Oh my god, work with me. Um, I really like how this section feels, and I want to, I want to expand on that a little bit. So I don't, who is streaming after me? Because I want to make sure that I, okay, so I screwed up by one bar. I think it's toxic, but now I can't remember. Um, so I am, I am going to go over cause I wanted to record another section here or maybe even just edit this one. Okay. So that did copy over. Now I lost my brain. Um, the beep beep I mean technically like technically bam we're done so we did finish in time how about that but I feel like we can do a little bit better because these hats are slightly annoying um and I want to make sure that they have a little bit more, a little bit more variety to them instead of just being like. <laughs> so we're going to put another two minutes into this. Um, <laughs> uh, I tend to not. Like I tend to not like blast the alarm because I know it triggers M, <laughs> even though it's funny to do that. Um, okay. Um, Okay, so this needs to be triplets. Okay. 
Okay, that should be good. Um, I don't want these to be obnoxious, but I felt like it would be kind of funny to add them. Okay, let's listen to the whole song, and then we can do a quick mastering job on it while we listen. I am pretty pleased with how this one turned out. Yeah. Almost knocked my crap over. I want to make sure that the bass isn't too, uh, too chonky. Yeah, I do too. That was a that was a fun thing to put together. Introvert, how you doing? It's been a minute. Remember to save. Hey everybody, remember to save. Hope you've been well. Honestly, we could just keep going with this for a long time, but I like the fade out here. I like the fade out because we're adding new stuff while we're fading out where it's not like, well, we ran out of ideas, so we're just going to fade it out and nobody will know. We're just like, we're just like, yeah, we have more ideas, but you know, we're good here. We don't, we don't have any more to say. We could just keep adding layers, but that's not fun. That's not like expressing the idea of the song. Cool. We are done. I believe toxic is the one streaming next in the two hour album challenge. Shabow. So we are going to uh, raid Mr. Toxic Man, and we are good. So quick recap of everything that's going on. This is the two-hour album challenge. If you want more information on that, if you're a music producer and you like challenges like these, you can go to 2hac.abstractionmusic.com, um, and you will get more information there. That is 2hac like two hour album challenge dot abstraction music.com. 
Um, the short version is that we are doing a community challenge based off the same theme to um, make an album. And that album then goes on Bandcamp and any sales of that album go directly to charity to uh, help a... Stop knocking shit over, Tux. I'm trying to get money for cats. Um, helps a charity called Angel of Hope, who is an animal rescue specifically for cats. We've got several cats through Angel of Hope, and we love them very, very much. So, yeah, stick around, and I'm going to bounce you over to, if I can type, bounce you over to Toxic. Super cool dude. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to uh, finish up this song post it and we should be good to go again thank you guys so much and if you uh wanted to support the channel even more you could go to patreon.com slash ben underscore burns you'll be able to download this song as well as like 230 other songs and uh i'm gonna head out so bounce over to toxic say hi support them and that's all i got take care bye